Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with something very odd. I'm here with a Hong Kong one cent note. That's right, you heard me right. One singular cent. So, let's go off and hop right into it and talk about this odd little thing. So, before I hop into any text, I'll go off and talk about the images here. Here we've got an image of Queen Elizabeth II, just a nice little portrait of her, wearing the crown. And a little border, you see the little border there, with in each corner, one cent here, and in Chinese, yup fun, red right to left, which also means one cent. Now, this note across the top has the English wording, Government of Hong Kong, before red right to left, the Chinese, Hong Kong Jing Fu, which just means Hong Kong government. Now, red top to bottom, on the opposite side of the note to the Queen, you've got Yup Fun, which also means one cent. Now, these notes here come with a little disclaimer, I suppose you could call it. Um, let's say, these notes are legal tender for the payment of any amount not exceeding one dollar, which means you could spend up to a hundred of these at the same time. Now, these notes here were created due to a shortage of coinage, actually. Because prior to the first world, sorry, prior to the second world war, uh, they actually used coins for this. But because of a shortage of coinage during the second world war, they then switched over to notes, of which they continued using up all the way until 1995, I believe. But this note here is an old thing with one cent here and yup fun there. And then at the bottom here, you'll see it says, for the government of Hong Kong, with a signature there and financial secretary written down there. The one that you're currently looking at is actually the oldest of the Queen Elizabeth, the second version of these notes. This here bears the signature of JJ Culperwraith. I'm not sure to pronounce that. Once again, it's probably across your screen now. JJ Culperwraith. Now, there are other versions of this, and I do only have one more version I can show you. But these did continue all the way up until 1995. So this one here that you're currently looking at is from 1961 up until 71. The next one here, which is the Hong Kong one cent note from the decade later, from 71 to 81, has the signature here of C.P. Haddon Cave. Now the, now the note is exactly the same, it's just got the exact same details, nothing's changed. Now, these notes remained like this, with just a different signature, up until 1995. They changed once per decade, meaning the first one for Queen Elizabeth here was the, was the JJ Copperwright one, before you moved on to the CP Had on Cave ones. After this, you would have had Sir J.H. Bremridge, then Sir Piers Jacob, and then Sir Hamish MacLeod, and that's it. <laughs> um, these here were printed in Bradbury by Wilkinsons and Co, so <laughs> that's a little bit of trivia for you. These notes here are just extremely interesting, fascinating things, because it's hard to imagine a world where you'd ever need to have a one cent note. But these here were legal tender up until 1995, and you could spend a hundred of them at a time if you wanted to. Alright, that's all I've got to say about these. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please do subscribe and leave a like on the video. These are very odd notes. <laughs> alright, goodbye everyone.